the dawn of a new century for the AGBU. True to its long-standing mission, the AGBU is looking to the future, preserving Armenian identity, promoting Armenian heritage, encouraging young Armenian talent, bringing Armenians together and building strong ties with the Armenian Republic. A mission started by Boros Nubar in Cairo when he founded the AGBU on April the 15th, 1906. Ottoman persecution and massacres culminating in the genocide of 1915 saw a massive exodus of Armenians from a crumbling empire to settle all over the world. In France, survivors flocked to Marseille, working their way up the Rhone Valley to Paris. They set up local AGBU chapters that provided financial assistance, help in finding a job or a home, setting up schools, or simply offering a place to meet. Today, the Armenian community in France is the largest in Western Europe, numbering half a million. In 1922, the AGBU headquarters were transferred from Cairo to Paris. Bogus Nuba, Francophile and École Centrale alumnus, moves to 11 Square Alboni, where the AGBU France offices are still located today. He dies in 1930 and is buried at the Père Lachaise Cemetery. In the late 1920s, to promote the young Armenian elite, the AGBU built the Marie Nubar House, one of the first student dorms in the Cité Internationale de l'Université de Paris. The AGBU also establishes the Nubar Library in an effort to gather what remained of the literary heritage of Armenians living in the Ottoman Empire. Today, scholars studying Armenian issues appreciate the value of this internationally renowned institution. The Nubar Library publishes magazines, historical books and essays, and organizes special exhibitions. To mark its centennial, the AGBU has published a two-volume reference book exploring the 100-year history of the Armenian diaspora and detailing the important role of the AGBU's prominent members. Since the 1920s, the AGBU has also been active in Armenia itself, most recently after the 1988 earthquake and independence in 1991 and the AGBU is currently working to repopulate villages in Armenia and in Karabakh. Six soup kitchens offer 1,200 meals a day to an aging population left with little after the collapse of the Soviet Empire. Three and a half thousand youngsters from low-income households are welcomed in three children's centers each afternoon, as public schools only offer classes in the morning. Kids are taught physical education and can develop their knowledge of language or computers, of the arts and crafts, and music. On the medical front, the AGBU finances a reconstructive surgery clinic, 
an ultrasound center and a proctology hospital employing 43 doctors and 63 nurses. The church is a cornerstone of the Armenian identity. The AGBU, a secular organization, works closely with Etchmiadzin on a number of projects, the construction of the St. Gregory the Illuminator Cathedral in Yerevan, and of the Vaskenian Seminary on Lake Sevan, a campus that provides religious education and training to clergy who go on to serve Armenian communities throughout the world. Each year, 400 promising students enroll at the AGBU-financed American University of Armenia to become the engineers and leaders of tomorrow's Armenia. This helps attract large corporations to the homeland. Students can apply for 50 internships, offered in Paris, New York, and soon Yerevan. Scholarships total over 500,000 euros. The AGBU allocates more than 12 million euros towards education worldwide, half its annual budget. The AGBU also sponsors the 273 musicians of the Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra and the Karabakh Chamber Orchestra. Through its 75 local chapters in 25 countries, the AGBU touches the lives of 400,000 people every year, making it the largest non-profit Armenian organization in the world. 45 cultural centers. 17 primary and secondary schools, 6,000 students, 16 Saturday schools, 4 summer camps, 4 theatre groups, 8 choirs, 5 musical groups, 6 dance ensemble. 14 publications. This is the AGBU. Powerful, generous, compassionate, a helping hand to all Armenians. <laughs>